Hey guys, be sure to stay tuned to the end of the video for a promotional code that can get you up to 25% off of all Canton Racing products on their website. What's going on you guys? So today we're going to be installing some Canton Racing products. We have an AccuSum system and an oil cooler. I'm going to be going through showing you guys what you need to do to install them and explaining the benefits of having an AccuSump on your vehicle. So for starters, we got all of our parts laid out here. Uh, most importantly, instructions. Always read through your instructions before you do anything. Uh, I'm going to cover most of the stuff in the video, but there's a lot of information on here that will help you. Uh, but we have our AccuSump system here. We have our 10 AN line. We got about 10 feet of this. The oil cooler that we're going to be installing. And then we have all the adapter fittings, mount brackets, the filter adapter right here, which will go onto the engine. And then we decided to go with a manual valve for the AccuSump, uh, just to keep costs down, and they seem to work pretty well. All right, well, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get the oil filter block adapter installed on the vehicle. So this is the oil filter block adapter. This basically sandwiches between the engine block and where the filter goes on. So we're gonna get that installed, but we need to put our fittings in there. So these are half inch MPT fittings, and we're gonna go ahead, throw some Teflon tape on them, and thread them in there. So while we're at it and doing everything, we're gonna go ahead and get the AccuSump prepped. Uh, it comes with a pressure relief valve installed on it, right here, but to get that, the valve actually installed you do need to remove the pressure relief valve uh, once this is all back together there's no reason you should ever need to take this out again but first we're gonna go ahead and get that prepped so I'm gonna Teflon this and get it threaded in there So now that those two fittings are in there, I do have a general idea of how this fitting needs to go. So it's going to come out facing like that. We want to be pretty much straight on with this valve just for the clearances I already know we're looking at here. But I'm going to do the same thing on this fitting. Teflon tape it, thread it in, and since it's pipe thread we're going to get it tight and then clock it right to the position where we need it. Okay, and there we go. The AccuSump is prepped, ready to go. We got our valve on, our T-fitting, pressure relief is backed in. We also clocked our air gauge on the side. While we're at it, uh, the air gauge is to pressurize the back of the piston here, and that's for when the accumulator fills up. If you lose oil pressure on this side or you need to uh, prime the system and there's no pressure on this side of it, you can, or on this side of the valve, I should say, when you open the valve up, you're gonna have at least some air pressure here to push that piston out and you can pre-lubricate the engine with this. Since we're installing fittings on everything right now, I'm going to go ahead and install the fittings onto the oil cooler while we're at it too. Now that we have the fittings on this, we have the fittings in the AccuSump and we have the fittings in the block adapter, uh, we should be pretty much done with prep work here. So it's time to mount the oil cooler and install the filter adapter block. Okay, so now that we have everything prepped, uh, we have you know, the majority of our MPT stuff, all Teflon and installed. Uh, fittings are just kind of threaded on there, just, you know, keep it clean for now. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go ahead, bolt the adapter on, and while we're at it, we're gonna go ahead, measure out our lines, mount our oil cooler, find a spot for the AccuSum. We just made some brackets right now to, you know, help us out, get us started, and uh, gives us a nice bit of material there to work with, to bend up and drill and, get it put in the right spot, so yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Uh, 
So the first part of installing an AccuSump is you're going to need to put the block adapter on. So basically what you do is you take the oil filter off the car and you take the adapter and you put that on and it has a little, uh, little nut deal that just threads right into there. Super easy to install. Uh, once that's tight, you're gonna wanna get your oil cooler installed. So the oil cooler on this car, we're mounting behind the intercooler because it's one of the only spots we can actually fit it. Coming up with a mounting solution, not exactly the easiest thing to do uh, real quick. So we just are gonna go ahead and kinda zip tie it on to the intercooler for now. Uh, maybe later down the road when we have some extra time, I'll go through and uh, make some nice mounting brackets for it. But to get us through for now, that's gonna work just fine. After that, we gotta plan out our line routing. So basically, we're gonna have the line that comes out of the adapter go into the bottom of the oil cooler. After that, we have to come up with the other line, which goes to the AccuSump T. So there's a T that's on the AccuSump. So now we have our oil cooler mounted, and we have the lower line ran already. So the next step is gonna be to get the lines rerouted back into the engine block, but we do have to route the AccuSump in it as well. So the way it works basically is oil comes out of the engine block through the adapter, goes into the oil cooler, comes out of the oil cooler, and right after that there's a T in the system. One part of the T goes to the AccuSump, the other part of the T returns to the block which goes into the engine. So with the brackets we already made, we got the, the AccuSump system fitted up into the car in, we'll just call it a spot where we knew it would fit and had all of our fittings and lines clocked properly. So the first line we made after that was from the T out of the AccuSump to the oil block adapter on the engine. After that line was routed properly and installed, we had to make the final line, which was out of the T from the AccuSump to the top of the oil cooling. So after all the lines and fittings are done, that's pretty much the simplicity of installing an AccuSump on a car. Now, what does an AccuSump do? An AccuSump is basically an oil accumulator. It stores additional pressurized oil for the system. So, say you run low on oil pressure when you're on the track. If you have an electronic system on your vehicle, it'll sense low oil pressure through an oil pressure sender, and it will open the valve, releasing oil into the system, repressurizing your engine without having a pressure drop because of, uh, say, a lack of oil pickup due to hard cornering or something like that. Now, after oil pressure regains in the AccuSump system, the valve closes and it's restoring oil pressure for its next use. Uh, another thing it can be used for is pre-lubricating an engine. Say you have an engine that's been sitting for a long time but you have an AccuSump system on it, or uh, even for race car stuff, it's really important that you wanna first fire with good oil pressure so you can take an engine that's not running and you crack the valve open on the AccuSump and you can pre-pressurize and pre-lubricate the engine before cold starting it. So it's a very good to have for that. Now two different types of valving for those are a manual valve and an electric valve. Like I stated before, the electric valve runs off of a pressure sensor. It opens when it's triggered through uh, an electrical current. The actual solenoid opens up and allows oil pressure from the AccuSump system to flow into the engine, pressurizing it in case of a, you know, a cornering issue or a, a running dry or something like that on the pickup and you lose oil pressure, like I stated before, that's what the electric ones are used for. The manual valves are a little bit, uh, they're, they're a lot cheaper, but they're not necessarily as good, but they still work. So a manual valve, basically what you wanna do is, you can use it as stated before, cracking it open to pre-lubricate, uh, and after the engine's running, that you basically have a two quart system of pressurized oil on standby. So if the pickup runs dry, the oil will transfer out of the AccuSump into the engine, lubricating it. The same way as the other one, except it's a constant balance of pressure. You don't have it on a pressurized switch controlling it. Now, there's pros and cons to both electric and manual valve. Uh, the pros to the manual valve is they're a lot cheaper uh, and they do work. The cons are they don't work as good as the electric ones because the electric ones work based off oil pressure. So if you're trying to do it strictly for track performance and you want the best of the best, a electric system is the way to go. Uh, we did a manual system on our car 
just because, like I said, this is a budget car, a budget build, and a manual will work fine for most of the stuff you need to do with it. And then, uh, obviously, an oil cooler. That's something that pretty much states what it does in the name, which is cool your oil. Oil gets hot, and you need to cool it. So running an oil cooler is pretty important on any track car or anything like that, so I'd highly recommend an oil cooler. And if you're going to do an oil cooler, adding an AccuSump to the system is not very difficult. And I'd recommend doing it just because it can save your engine. It saved my engines in the past. It's a it's an investment well worth it. So look into it. If you guys have any other questions about AccuSump systems, visit CantonRacing.com and check out their products. They have a lot of great products up there. Uh, a lot of very, very good information on their website. Even the instructions have a lot of good information on it. So be sure to check it out if you guys have any other questions. But uh, that's that's pretty much it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any other questions or I happen to miss anything, just comment down below. I'll see if I can answer them. And as I stated in the beginning of the video, if you go over to CantonRacingProducts.com right now and put in the promo code Whaley, you'll get 25% off your entire purchase order on the website. So that's going to be it for this one. So like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and follow the build along. And until the next one, I'll catch you guys later.